We went to the Palladium and they announced L. Ron Hubbard could no longer do his research for spiritual expansion so he had to, with a body. So he dropped his body so he could do further research into the spiritual world. And they said, the people who are going to take over the church are Annie and Pat Broker, his best friends. Now, immediately after that, this little short guy comes on, David Miscavige, and he starts running the show. Finally, I get out, I sit down with Jesse Prince, who was at, in the very, very top of Scientology in their religious, tree, religious technology center, and he's out. And I said, Jesse, what happened to Pat and Annie Broker? And he said, you want to know what happened to Pat and Annie Broker? And I said, yeah. And he said, well, Hubbard got really sick of the church. He didn't want to be part of it, so he moved up north. He said, bring me a million dollars a week. That's how much money I'm making. It's my church. I want the money in cash. So they pack it into a suitcase. They go to Vegas and gamble and goof around. And they'd go to Hubbard. He'd open it up, see it's a million dollars, put it next to his bed. And this happened on and on and on, week after week or month after month. You know, they'd bring him the million bucks. They had the stacks of million dollar cash. Finally, he dies, right? And Miscavige goes over to Pat Broker and says, you get the hell out of here. I'm going to put you in prison for the rest of your life for never paying taxes, transporting that money across state lines. That was the end of Pat Broker. We've never seen him since. One. And the end result, and the end result to that suppression is this. Today, our Mecca has a safer environment than ever in history, with enemies turned to friends and allies, and that's what LRH meant when he told us to flourish and prosper.